Hello! Thanks for tuning in to watch. So, I don't even know why I'm smiling. I'm having a pretty terrible, terrible, terrible afternoon. I just, I just got out of seeing Avengers Infinity Wars. Yeah. I am. <laughs> you can, you can probably tell that I'm still stunned. Like, I sat at the end of that movie and I was watching the credits roll and I was like and I was waiting for the credits and like and then by the time we get to the credits like to the end credits or the, you know because it, this wasn't even mid credits they made us see through the whole entire thing and then by the end of the end of the end they still broke my heart even further so it's like what the hell um as usual the premise for avengers infinity war some crazy person some megalomaniac says oh the world is not working i'm going to make the world work i'm going to rule Woo -hoo. and so he comes out and tries to get make that happen and there's a bunch of superheroes like you and me who say no we're gonna stop you and so they get up and wake up and go try to do exactly that so um so the the movie basically is about thanos wanting to bring balance to the world and he needs stones to be able to do that and what's going to happen um is that when he has all of these stones he's going to be able to stop the world from ruining herself because oh we're overpopulated and we're wrecking the universe and um, that needs to stop so the stones are going to be able to make him randomly select who stays alive and who doesn't all across the galaxy all across the universe that's basically um the um premise for this movie and so as usual the avengers have to stop him this time around the world is actually ending and for once hollywood did not uh, make the fight happen in new york hallelujah was in America this time around they, they brought it home to the uh, cradle of civilization and unfortunately wrecked our perfect little paradise but you know progress Hollywood progress <laughs> so 10 years of waiting for Avengers Infinity Wars 10 years of watching Avenger movies and you can only ask yourself was Infinity War worth it the answer is yes if you haven't seen it go see it i'm pretty late to the party but better late than never eh i loved that um they were able to do something so huge and they were able to make it into what avengers infinity wars is um the russo brothers deserve their accolades they really do it had everybody in it but this movie wasn't even about all of your favorite superheroes it was mostly about Thanos it was really mostly about Thanos um, Josh Brolin oh my god and the CGI god boy am I glad that they waited until now to do this when we have um, um, the AI to make this happen because the CGI on Thanos my goodness his jaw like you remember Thanos from the earlier Avengers it wasn't as well done he, that one had blue eyes and he had like very weird weird red color but with this guy to start with I like that his balls looked like scrotum I probably shouldn't say I like that his balls his his jaw <laughs> not his balls his jaw <laughs> his jaw looked like balls um that was the, the attention to detail with that it was it was fantastic you know there was also a lot of foreshadowing with this so that tells me that there's probably going to be another avengers we haven't heard the last of them there's been a lot of talk online about a captain marvel um for the people who are following who watch the comics they probably know that this isn't over as far as avengers is concerned but yo this movie broke my heart in very different ways but it had a lot of um 
um it had a lot of moments that shone it also have, it had a lot of moments that dragged on and that's to be expected because with a movie this big that was shot in so many different locations we were dealing with so many different planets don't forget that everybody is here well except the ant-man and hawkeye i don't know why maybe they felt like they, they were not really needed but everybody was here we have the guy from civil war with the arm he was here captain america was here the guardians of the galaxy all of them were there we had doctor strange there iron man of course was there you know and um we had ultron there as well so everybody and then the wakandans as well and can i just say that the colonizer should leave africa alone because once the colonizer touches anything they ruin that thing and that's exactly what happened here i mean wakanda was great it was beautiful and then you introduce you let the world in and they come and fuck shit up well you should see it by now I, if i just spoiled it for you i am very sorry but not really i'm not because it's been what a long time you should have seen it by now <laughs> Yeah, and also Hollywood, isn't it time to stop killing the black man first? Like, don't kill the black man first. Please don't do that. Um, that that happened with this movie. Um, there was shock after shock after shock. I felt like I was watching Game of Thrones after a while. Like, where's the happiness? I mean, it was a little too dark for me. I felt like I was watching something from DC. You know. <laughs> But it was it was worth the hype. It is worth the hype. You should go see it if you haven't seen it. I would give it a seven over ten. Seven because um, there were parts that bored me. My friend, I went to see with a friend of mine, and he actually started to sleep at the cinema. I had to nudge at him a few times to wake the hell up. Um, I loved that they, you know, played up this. They, they, there was this scene where they. Um, that, that was a message of sorts about women working together so that was really powerful as well um they um tried they really tried to give everybody screen time for a movie this big they tried to make sure that everybody got screen time even shuri shuri we we got to see shuri you know um do her magical stuff also take a dig at the avengers you know um why didn't you people know enough to do this shit you know so that was also pretty dope um i liked that i like that they were able to make this into a a, a a sequel for a lot of the movies so in a way this was a sequel for avengers um um civil war it was also a sequel for rise of uh, uh, of guardian of the guardians of the galaxy it was a sequel for iron man so and you need to also remember remember that all of these movies were directed by different people were put together by different people but all of these movie co movies come together into this one and you know they don't really dwell on each character or dwell on each scene trying to explain to us who is who and how they know each other so that's where people who have been following the marvel uh, universe and the marvel movies since the very first one have an advantage over the people who haven't because you know who everybody is so you don't need an explanation you know but for the people who don't you also kind of get a sense of oh okay so this person knows this person and that person knows this person so you still are able to follow through you know so i i really liked it and in the usual marvel fashion it was funny um they they had a lot of jokes i loved um the pairings so the pair of uh, dr strange and um iron man was really cool they the pair of um of thor 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 had the most screen time with this thing he did and his character was so well done it was really well done he had a lot of pain they all took the time to give them different stakes so thor was paired up with the guardians from the galaxy and it was so good groot oh my baby groot groot was just oh yeah this movie hurt me in a lot of ways it, it really did it, it really really did and then um thanos's goons ebony ma shown as um I, I forget his the name of the role he played right now but he really shone through i liked that the hulk was unable to hulk so that gave um ruffalo a lot of time to be ruffalo and be um eric banner or is it bruce banner was it, is it Eric or Bruce? Yeah, 
one of the banners so it gave him a lot of time to be him and to be that so i liked that so many times he kept trying to get hulk to hulk out and hulk refused to hulk out but the good news is Ruffalo was one of the survivors, so that also lends credence to my theory that there will be another Avengers. So we haven't seen the end of the Avengers. Um, Thanos' character was so deep, and um, he he managed to get the people who were watching to see his point of view, to root for him. Actually, you know, this is this is one strange ass movie. <laughs> It's a, it's a strange ass movie and guess who also made a cameo peter dinklage even though i didn't like what they did with peter dinklage's character i love peter he's a fantastic actor but i do not exactly like or appreciate what was done with um his character in this movie um it didn't ring true for me but a movie can't be perfect so that's why i'm going to give this movie a 7 over 10. it's worth the hype um, 10 years in the making and I can definitely tell you that it was great so if you haven't seen it I would say go see it um, it is PG-13 PG so you can take your kids to go see it on like Deadpool I'm going to do a review of Deadpool so please look forward to watching that one and enjoying it as well again thank you so much for watching if you liked it subscribe